Hello everyone, welcome to an introduction to the block data command. The block data command allows you to manipulate tile entities. If you don't know what a tile entity is, then I will link you to this video in the description below. Anyway, we type in block data and then we put in our three coordinates and then we simply put in an MBT tag which will change the data of that block. To see what a block's data already is, so here I have a stuff with a bunch of planks inside, go forward slash block data and then press tab three times to open up the coordinates and then just put in an empty NVT tag and it will say the data tag did not change and then it will tell you exactly what that tag is. Now as you can see there is actually an items tag here which specifies what items are in which slot, how many there are and what their damage value is and a tag if it exists. When I run this command that's on the screen, it will say, I don't want any items in this chest. Let's press it, and as you can see, there are no longer any items in the chest. This next command block will say, okay, I want one diamond in the first slot of this chest, and that's it. So press the button, and as you can see, a diamond appears in the chest. If we go to the next one, we can actually have multiple items go inside something, by having the curly braces separated by a comma. So take a look at that command and as you can see we have a diamond in the first slot and a piece of redstone dust in the second. So let's remove these items, press the button and as you can see they are right there. Now you can also actually specify a tag as well. So at the end of this MBT tag here we have a tag function and we're just saying it's enchanted with nothing. So if we take this out press the button, you will see that this diamond has the enchantment flare. If you want to learn more about item MBT, please check out this tutorial on the give command and this will explain how MBT tags on items work. So that's a very very basic introduction to how to manipulate the block data command to add items to containers. Thanks everyone for watching, I will see you in the next one. Take care.